management of HPL Power and Electric, a uh, soon-to-be listed company, and uh, keep your eye out on what kind of, uh, you know, uh, response it gets for its IPO. But let's just focus then to another company, PTC Financials is a corporate in focus, and we have with us uh, Mr. Ashok Haldia. He is um, <clears throat> the MD and CEO of PTC Financial Service, and he's here to talk about the demand outlook, given the renewed uh, focus on energy project financing, and even the outlook on loan growth and asset quality. Mr. Haldia, Great to have you with us and thanks so much for your time. Now, you're one of the main players in the niche uh, renewable sector. So talk to us about the opportunities you see within the renewable energy uh, project financing space. Uh, in the renewable space, uh, we have been seeing upbeat and the growth momentum uh, in terms of the new projects coming up, uh, new bids uh, in the various uh, state governments being invited and the new class of promoters, both domestic and the international players, showing interest in the solar and the wind projects. So there has been a bit, there has been growth uh, in the financing requirements uh, in the renewable space. And we have been seeing in terms of the increase in the loan applications uh, for the solar as well as the wind power projects. Uh, on an average, we have been seeing growth about 30 to 50 percent in the last five years into the PFS operations. And uh, the pipeline that we have, uh, and as I've been maintaining all times, that uh, uh, considering the potential that exists uh, in the renewables and the wind, and also that uh, we, have, uh, we have diversified uh, a little into the areas of the annuity-based roads and also the existing ports transmissions, energy efficiency, uh, we, we, I mean, we see that uh, the growth momentum in the PFS uh, should continue at the rate that we have been in the past. Uh, the another area that is going to take uh, new uh, uh, headwinds is the rooftop. Oh. With the government uh, focus on the rooftop, uh, we have been seeing that uh, the number of players emerging Right. Uh, for taking up the rooftop at the, at, the, at the developer scale and in the developer model. So that's also the opportunity that we are seeing in the market. Mr. Haldia, within this renewables financing, financing space, where do you see maximum demand and what are the factors influencing this? Uh, we see the maximum demand in the renewables and in the renewables, uh, while uh, the, uh, the solar seems to be taking uh, the lead. And uh, that's natural because the number of the states that have come out with their policy, the incentives they have, that they have given, and also the policy and the other initiatives taken at the government of India level, including at, uh, with its uh, organizations like NTPC and the SEKI. So I believe that uh, the solar is going to take the lead, but there is uh, uh, growth momentum continues in the wind space as well. Wind are two key uh, renewable energy spaces which are actually seeing traction. But uh, Mr. Haldia, just tell us your outlook on loan growth for FY17. Uh, do you see product mix changing and if so, how? No, we, as, as, as I said, that uh, the renewable continues to remain focused in our portfolio. We have diversified. We have gone into the roads and the ports, the transmissions. That's going to take increasing, is, uh, you know, the slice into our portfolio. And, 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 and also remember that uh, the renewable projects, uh, once they are operationalized, then uh, they carry lesser risk. Similarly, the NE2-based roads, uh, they also have a low risk, uh, 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 you know, the uh, projects. Another thing is that we have introduced the new projects which are based on the contingent needs and the demands of the developers at various stages of the solar power, uh, of the project development and the operations. Those new projects have been receiving the increasing demands from the market. In terms of uh, the growth that you have been asking for, I've been maintaining for a long, including when you interviewed me uh, for the June quarter performance, I said that we have been growing at the rate of 30 to 50 percent over year and over year basis. And I believe we have enough pipeline to maintain uh, that kind of growth levels.
Moving on to your asset quality, do you see how do you see recoveries going ahead given the high slippages that we witnessed in uh, Q1? Because there were three accounts that you had declared that had gone into NPS. Has there been any recovery on that front? Yes. Uh, first, let me tell you that uh, last time when you interviewed a couple of months ago, I told that uh, the in terms of our assets, standard assets, which are uh, which have been restructured. And also the NPA, they are in the range of 800 to 1,000 crores. That figures is getting stabilized. That's one thing. Second thing, all these accounts, we are constantly in engagement uh, with the uh, with the with the promoters, the projects, and also wherever we are not the lead institutions, uh, with the lead bankers, and they have been uh, uh, you know uh, showing a positive results. Let me tell you, the stress assets in generally, they are in the churning out process. Uh, there have been new, the, the, the new investors showing interest, uh, the existing promoters showing interest to revive those projects. And uh, we have been recently classified as a financial institution under Surface I. And uh, that was only about a month ago. And we have already initiated actions uh, in two of the cases. And we are expecting uh, productive results in the next couple of months. Yes, certainly we are constantly engaged with the projects and the promoters and in, in, and, and in, and in, uh, in some cases we are expecting requiries as well, maybe this quarter, maybe the next quarter or maybe by the end of the year. Alia, thanks so much then for joining in with a perspective on what we can expect from PTC India Financial Services. Uh, let's uh, take a quick break Thank then right here on the show. We'll be back with more news and updates.